We will begin in Photoshop with a file that is ready to print. Start by going to File, Export, IPF8300 Print Plugin. On the main tab, I'll be making my selections from top to bottom. Begin by selecting the media type for the paper that you are printing to. Next, the input resolution should be set to high accuracy, 600 ppi, and the input bit to plug-in should be set to highest gradation, 16-bit. Your print mode should be set to highest or highest max number of passes. The output profile should be set to the profile for the media that you're printing to. Finally, for the matching method, select either the perceptual or relative colorimetric rendering intent. On the Page Setup tab, I'll begin by verifying my image size at the top of the tab. Next, click on Roll Paper Options and select first your roll paper width, second, Automatic Cutting. This should be set to Available if you want the printer to cut, or None if you plan on cutting the paper manually. Third check the no spaces at top or bottom box, conserve paper. Next, you'll need to create a custom page size. To create a custom page size, click on the Size Options button. For the width, select the width of the sheet or roll that you're printing to. For the height, select the height of the image. Then. Name the paper size under Custom Paper Size at the top of the Size Options window. Finally, click Add and then OK. You can now select that custom paper size that was just created from the Paper Size drop-down menu. Next, click Print. Your job will now spool and be sent to the printer for output.